I've decided to have us work on a clock again. I know we did it in templates, but it was the best project I could think of for using as many of the tools that on the alignment bar as possible. So the first thing let's do, let's set up our screen. Um, go ahead and click on Show Grid, and we want the hoop, but we want the biggest hoop that we can use on our machine, except for not the mega hoop and not one of the hoops that takes multi hooping sections like the um, the giant hoop at all. So click on, right click on the hoop icon and find the biggest hoop that will work on your machine. In my case that is the oval. So click on that and say OK. Now the next thing we want to do is select outline and single. If it isn't single use the pull down menu and pick your single from your list of stitches. The first thing I do when I'm making a clock is give myself a guideline on the outside so I know that everything has to go inside that circle to fit on the clock. So click on the circle oval tool, come to the center of the screen, click, drag out to pretty much as big as you can get it and have it still fit in that hoop, click again, and down at the bottom you'll see a message that says press enter for circle or enter oval point. We want a circle so we're going to press enter. If you want an oval you'd go ahead and put another point on the outside of it. So go ahead and press enter and now we have our guideline. Um, the next thing we want is a little circle in the middle and that's so we know where to cut out so that the hands and the the works of the clock can stick through the embroidery. If I were doing this for myself, I would probably go for the center of it and make the circle. But I want you to really be able to see what the alignment tools do. So just make a little circle anywhere on your screen. It doesn't even have to be in the hoop. And press enter again to get it. Now, click on the select object tool and that's going to select the last object that was digitized. If it doesn't, then click on that. When you're aligning something, the first thing you click on is the item that will be aligned and you can click a whole series of things to be aligned at once but the last thing you click on is what everything's going to be aligned to so if you'll hold down your control key and click on the big circle now our alignment keys are available and come down and click on align centers and that middle hops exactly into the center of that big circle Okay, the next thing I want is little dots for each hour on the clock. And I'm going to switch to a fill stitch, so click on that. And if you did that, click undo because I still had everything selected, so click off of your circles. Now click on your fill stitch. I want satin. If it's not selected, you can choose it from the pull down menu. And go over and select the circle oval tool again and oh I don't know right about here go ahead and make that little circle and enter to close it now when you're working with satin well actually when you're working with a circle the direction of your stitches depends on which way you drug out from the center if you don't like the direction they're going, let's zoom in, mine are going horizontal, but say I wanted them to go vertical, you could click on the reshaped object tool, and this is your entry point, this little square, and you can drag it to somewhere else on the circle, and then press enter, and it's going to change the direction of your stitches. Actually, I want it horizontal, so I'm going to drag it back down here. Okay and I want to show all so now my clocks on the screen go back and click on the select object tool and I want it to line up with that little circle in the middle so it's selected I hold down the control key and click on that middle circle and then I want a line centers vertical and it just scooted it over just a little bit click off of it so it's deselected so we're not getting that middle circle in the next thing. Um, I want 12 of these things but I don't want to have to go make them and place them on the circle for each one. So if you will click on that little circle and come down and select the wreath tool 
and we want there's 12 hours on a clock so that's what we want and I have already been playing so mine says 12 you can either highlight it and type in how many you want or you can use these little arrow keys to select the number so now I have 12 and I'm going to line this up the best that I can and we know where our center is on this because we've already lined everything aligned everything to the center so if you get that center in there and get all the lines going out pretty much straight and click and there's our 12 little dots if you hold down control and click on that one right there then let's go ahead and group all those dots so they stay in a circle and now if you're not sure that it actually aligned to the center that group that circle is selected and you can hold down the control key and select that center circle and click again on align centers and it didn't do much for me but okay so now click off of it and we're ready to put some numbers on here